<laughs> well, I'm lost, everybody. I, too many people are... Uh, Man, hey Tomo, uh, I'm still gonna sing For Love for you. I think you're the only person right now. Leslie's back. Sorry folks, I lost internet. Stony, CJ, there we go. CJ, don't worry, I'm gonna get back to the song. Apologies, I don't know what happened. Everybody in my neighborhood started watching Netflix at once. I'll just wait for everybody to get back. Hey Brenda, how did you like um, the song I sang for you? Sorry about that, everybody. G'day, Jason. Welcome back, everyone. I'll start singing in a second. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. Alan, you legend. What a sweetheart. What a great keyboard player. Uh, I'll wait for everyone to get back. RJ's here. What's up, RJ? Stop blowing off my Facebook notifications. Stoney, you're such an angry man. I'm glad you live in Tasmania because I would beat your ass if I was there. Uh, what happened was that the internet just jacked out. Um, <laughs> someone just said, please support, please donate so Paul could have better tech support. The problem is, is that everyone here is watching Netflix, I think. Um, uh, I still got a few more songs to play, if you want to hear them, that is. Uh, CJ. I'm gonna start this song again for you, brother. What's up, Alan? Stoney, I'll call you whatever I want. You angry man. So this is Girl with a Crooked Mirror. Yeah, Stephanie, I'm starting it again. Something that happened with my Wi-Fi. Hi, Cindy, we're back. We know you're back. I know a girl with a crooked mirror. She saw her face through the crooked lines. She said, Mother, you're my believer. Can you help me to see me as I really am? Help me to see. Beauty lies in me And be my mirror and I'll see Beauty lies in me She said, ain't it a mystery That I can believe In somebody else's beautiful dreams But here in this mirror The image is broken I wish I could swallow the love I receive Cause I can't believe The beauty lies in me So be my mirror and I'll see Beauty lies in me In me When your mirror's broken, it always makes sense To rely on opinions from others Now this girl is pretty, with beautiful features But words like these, they don't come from your friends And her thoughts deceived her So she played, follow the leader so be my mirror and I'll see that beauty lies in me. He came along when she was weak, he was strong. He took the mirror and he threw it down and he whispered, Look at me and She said Be my mirror And I'll see Beauty lies in me I know a girl 
with a beautiful family and there her mirror they shine like love and she's finding peace as a wife and a mother this healing road that she's walking on and she sees her reflection in her young children's eyes so be my mirror and I'll see the beauty lies in me so be my mirror and I'll see the beauty lies in me in me Oh yeah. I'm glad you guys are still with me. Sorry about the uh sorry about the uh, malfunction with the uh internet. I think that a million people in my neighborhood started watching Netflix all at the same time. Uh Yeah. So Mark and I and Kimmy will be up very early in the morning discussing selling health insurance. Uh, so I won't drag this on for too much longer, but I would like to dedicate this next song to my good friend, Shell, and also to Aiden Hall, who have asked for this song. This is a song called For Love. Uh, wrote this song uh, while I was waiting to, for everyone to get ready at a wedding. I was staying at someone's house in Sydney in Australia and uh, everyone was taking forever and I was already ready and I was singing a song at the wedding so I had my guitar there and I was like oh come on and so I wrote this song while I was waiting and it's called For Love and uh, it was originally on an album that I did in 1990 whatever with my friend called uh, um, Violets and Violence and our band was called the Lo-Fi's. Um, and I was listening to a lot of Springsteen at the time. Uh, uh, no, you cannot get boomerang insurance in Canada. I'm sorry, it's for the United States. But I'm glad you asked. Boomerang insurance, health insurance. We got you covered all the way around. <laughs> Uh, the one thing, I'm sorry, Jeffrey, I'll have to do that next time. Forgive me. I will not be singing that song tonight. Um, can I be honest with you? I'm kind of sick of the songs that I've sung a lot and I'm trying to play a few songs that I haven't. So, uh, Shell, are you there? Aiden, are you there? Are you ready for For Love? Um, the version of this has a nice keyboard and a beautiful loop. Thanks, Jeff, you're a sweetheart. Um, expressing our faith in Jesus very well by forgiving me there. Thank you, brother. Aiden and Shell, are you there? Um, this is for you. This is how this was written. And I was sitting in a nice suit. Ah, yes, Shell, I got you there, buddy. Horrible football team you support, but I still love you. I think this may have even been the song that I wrote, the, the guitar that I wrote this on, actually. All right, for love. When you get used to hearing a song a certain way, on a record, sometimes when you hear it on the acoustic guitar, you're like, that's not right. Bear with me, this is how it was written. I'm not gonna live with that tuning, hold on. Hold your horses, peeps. For love. Oh, you're at shells at work right now. Uh, Tiffany, I played dip about 20 minutes ago. So this concert will be on my, uh, like my hair, I did it myself. Uh, this concert will be on my YouTube page in the next few days. And I'd love you guys to subscribe because I've only got 313 subscribers. And uh, let me just say right now, that's hurtful. Okay, so if you want to, uh, also, if you want to donate or tip, that would be really appreciated. Child support is coming up. Um, 
Uh, so is health insurance. Health insurance. Did somebody say health insurance? Yeah, that's coming up. By the way, I'm going to change to my own health insurance company. Uh, when I can write a policy, I'm going to sign myself up. I can't yet. Anyway, this is for love. I don't know where, where you draw the line because I'm just a person trying to pick up all the pieces and they, they never asked me where I want to be born and they never told me that love would be so hard. I grew up staring at the, the face of Jesus And I always wondered how they took his photograph I remember staring through a stained glass window Funny how it made the world look different on the other side And I wish that I could walk ahead and never fall behind that we were all for love Well I'm only young but I, I know the difference between your condemnation and the one who really loves I've worked out love is more than just emotion but Some days all I want to do is cover up yeah. And I wish that I could walk ahead and never fall behind And I wish that we were all for love You do sha la 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 heart who can set me free the things I face to me seem so damn crucial but when I look in suffering eyes I always see my place and I wish that I could walk ahead and never fall behind and I wish that Yeah, it is a timely song, Birgit. You are right. Guys, it's, uh, gosh, I don't even know how long I've been singing about two hours. I don't know how you're still here. I'm completely sick of myself. Um, what have I not sung? I haven't sung The Gathering. I haven't sung Recalculate. I haven't sung The Best Is Yet To Come. Did I say that? I haven't sung Holding On To You. I haven't sung Sun, Stars, Moon for the second time in a row and I haven't sung Africa. And Stephen, you're still here and you want to sing Africa. Is that right, buddy? Thanks, Steve-O. You're a legend. Oh, man. 
The West family, I know, I know Daniel. I know Daniel. Should I just do it? What the heck? I said I'd do it. I gotta be a man of my word. I said I would do Sun, Stars, Moon. All right, so here's the story behind this song. I was at a church group in San Diego and I was singing and I was preaching. And suddenly when I was preaching, I realized, uh, I realized that I was full of crap and that I was not practicing what I was preaching. And the scripture was about, I don't know where it is, it's somewhere in the New Testament about being like the moon because the moon reflects the sun and that the moon has no light in itself. The only light that comes from the moon is that we see on the moon is because it's reflected. And, and this analogy of not trying to be somebody great and be like a little sun. Hey, look at me, I'm a star which kind of fits with the analogy. And, and just so you know, we're not even gonna talk about Uranus. So please don't, please don't write that. But um, the moon and the sun and the stars analogy really uh, resonated with me. And as I was preaching, I said to the people, hey, can I just say something? It's really struck me and I have to assume it's God speaking because he's got an American accent. It has to be him, but, but I just suddenly realized that I am not doing this. I am not practicing what I preach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish now and I'm going to stand, I'm going to stand down the front and I'm going to respond to my own sermon. <laughs> I'm going to come forward to my own altar call. And I would just love a few people to come and pray for me because I want to reflect God's love. And yet the truth is I also really want to be a star and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a hypocrite. And I came home and I and I wrote this song. Uh, Jason, I will not sing that this time. I'll sing it next time. So I said that last time about this song and I was rebuked by my own hypocrisy about a story about my own hypocrisy. That's double hypocrisy. One thing I want to tell you, uh, the West family, is that this riff was hard for me to do when I wrote it. And then when we did it in the studio, I just looped it. I went... We took all the little flubs and we pieced it together so it sounds awesome on the record. But the truth is, it was a cut and paste job. So now I'm going to have to play it live. Uh, and this is called The Sun, The Stars and The Moon. And it's for the West family, a family that I deeply love. They are so quirky, just like me. They're kind of jacked up like me. And yet they're beautiful like me. And they're awesome like me. <laughs> and I just love them. I love them. So this is for, this is for the West family. Uh, also for Rebecca and for Maureen, who also asked for this song. So here we go. The sun, the stars, the moon. Uh, there's two versions of this song. One is on Paul Coleman Trio album Turn. And one is on the Paul Coleman Trio album New Map of the World, and I think maybe there's a version of it on Paul Coleman Trio Live Electric. All right, here we go. Do you believe it's true? It all depends on you. If you were to fall down We wouldn't know what to do I'm a lonely soul I'm a lonely soul When I think I'm alone I want to be the moon It reflects the sun Don't want to be the star That shines on everyone I want to be with you Cause you're the only
everything you want and did you fake a grin but feel you lose when you the sun, don't want to be a star, it shines on everyone, I want to be with you, cause you're the only the sun, don't want to be the star, it shines on everyone, I want to be with you, cause you're the only one, who heals my lonely soul, I want to be the moon, it reflects the sun, don't want to be the star, it shines on everyone, I want to be with you. You're the only one who heals my lonely soul. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That took a lot of concentration. <laughs> hey, Laura Jacobs. Sup, that was you, girl. Hey, folks, I got about one or two more songs left in me. I got to be up early training to sell you all health insurance. Right? Right? Thank you, Birgit. I see those three yellow hands. Uh, thank you, CJ. Uh, who was it that wanted Africa? Stephen. Where are you, Stephen? Are you around? Stephen? Stephen? Steven, Steve-O, where's Steven? Steven, Steven, you want it, Africa? If you want it, let me hear you. Hey, Jenna, yes, it is early. You're in Scotland, right? Jenna Ward's in Scotland, it's early. It's absolutely early there, terribly early. Steven, there you are, mate. Hey, Steven Nichols. Steven, tell us in, uh, tell us in one paragraph, and you, thank you, Sue. Why is it that you love this song, Africa? Tell us, Stephen. We're going to wait for you. 4 a.m., Jenna. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> Stephen, tell us why you love Africa. Um, tell us why. Thank you, Jenna. Appreciate it. If you guys want to uh, donate or tip, by the way, you are more than welcome to at paulcolmanofficial.com. Boomerang Health Insurance. <laughs> Uh, back around and smacks you in the head. No, no, wrong. Uh, Elaine's back in New England. It's late up there. Good on you, mate. 10 past 11. What a soldier. Tell us, Stephen, I'm sure you're typing furiously. Why is it that you wanted to hear? Um, you know, it's really difficult is to see all these comments. Oh, Broomerang Health Insurance. If you don't think you need it now, you will need it when it comes back around and smacks you in the head. <laughs> Stop! That is not nice. Ian Gaia, my cousin. Hi, mate. Okay, Stephen, is that you? Uh, yeah, I saw you played at Crossover Festival, Music Festival. It was a birthday present when I was a kid. Uh, see more, see more. Oh, gosh, why can't I see more of what he wrote? Oh, technology, why do you leave me at this moment? Oh, uh, all right, sorry about that. Um, okay, 
so Africa, I wrote for the little boy that I sponsored through World Vision. His name is Morticia. And I visited him in Africa. And the very first time I sang this song was to him and his mother and his grandmother. And like everybody else, I went to Africa thinking I was going to help these poor people. And yet they helped me more than I ever helped them. They had nothing and they had everything. Uh, okay. So this is called Africa. It's for Stephen. Africa. I came to change you. But instead you changed me And I confess I came to frame you In a photograph But you showed me why And you turned this heart around And I see your smile how can it be so much brighter than me? And your silent eyes, they scream of hunger and meaning and eternal dreaming. Africa, oh Africa. Africa, we smiled at you from behind the glass And without reserve and whiter than snow You smiled back at us And you showed me who And you turned this mind around I see your hands reach out to God so much higher than ours and your silent eyes they scream of hunger and meaning and eternal dreaming Africa And the people in Africa, in Kenya, they taught me to sing in their language of Swahili, the words, Africa, you have touched my heart. Africa, mimi na kupenda. Africa, mimi na kupenda. Africa, mimi na kupenda. Africa, mimi na kupenda. You showed me why You turned this heart around You lay me high You turned to God So much higher than ours And your silent eyes They scream Of hunger and Africa, oh Africa, oh Africa, oh Africa, oh Africa. There you go, Steve-O. Hey, peeps, I think I'm going to call it a night pretty shortly. What time is it? 10.16. I've been playing for two and a quarter hours, and you know what? That's enough for anyone. I mean, not much for Springsteen, but who the heck's got his energy? I wouldn't mind his career, actually. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish up now. 
uh, with a gospel song called The Gathering. Uh, but let me finish with a few thoughts. I'd like to firstly say something to my American friends. Uh, this is a very trying and difficult time. Thanks, Steve-O. A difficult time in, in your country. And um, I don't understand everything. And I'm not even a citizen. I have a permanent res resident card. and But I just want you to know, America, that um, I love you and I appreciate you and I believe, I believe in Americans. I know this is a tough time. And, um, but one of the things about America is that there's 325 million consumers and there's no other Western country with that amount of people. And there's nowhere else that you compare to America. So it's very easy for other countries to look and see all the faults in America. And you know what? There's plenty of faults in America. But you know what? You've got faults in your own damn nation too. It's just that there's more cameras here and, and Americans are louder and their patriotism is more overt. And so their problems are pretty obvious. But does that make them any worse than the problems in your country? I don't know. All I know is that I don't want to cast judgment. I just want to know that, that, that things are tough here right now. And until about four days ago, we thought the coronavirus was the big news. And now this whole... Um, outburst of protests and looting have just eclipsed everything, and uh, and then it's hurricane season. So thanks to thanks 2020. But just so you know, it's it's easy to criticise someone who's loud. Uh, it's easy to see their faults, but some of the most conceited and arrogant people I've ever met are quiet, and you don't know what's really going on. Um. So just so you know, just because you can see something on the surface, that doesn't make it worse. Uh, and Americans are fantastic people. I've personally been to all 50 states and I've got friends in all 50 states. And yes, America has some deep seated issues, but what country does not? And maybe your country's better. Well, if that's the case, pray for another country. Don't get on Facebook and be such a biash about it. Say something constructive. It's okay if you want to say something negative, but make sure that for every negative, you have four positives. Make Look for situations and people that are doing amazing things, not just picking the crap out of it. A lot of people don't understand Donald Trump. I don't, but you know what? I pray because he's the president that he does a good job and that God speaks to him. I don't want to say bitterness towards him because what's the point of that? Um... And plus, I can't even vote, so who cares? Who cares what I say? But uh, America is easy to pick faults in because it's loud, and uh, and there's a lot of microphones and a lot of cameras. But um, God looks beyond all that, and He sees the heart. And so, people care about America. Maybe that's the reason why things bother you, is because you do care about the country. Well, if you care about someone, don't just point out the shit things. Point out the good things too and look for those good things because it's so easy just to get on the bandwagon on Facebook. Um, but look for the good things too. And I don't understand everything, but I just know that I love this country and I love the people and I'm not blind to its faults. But then I've been one of those people that have pointed the finger at other people and forgotten that when I point a finger that there's three fingers coming back at me. So I'd like to finish off with this song. It's called The Gathering and... Um, uh, I know it's been really interesting for a lot of people who are used to attending a church building. For the last couple of years, I haven't attended a church building. And yet the church is the people, not a building and not a service. I've kind of just got a little bit um, over uh, the meeting, but I'm not over the people and I'm not over God. And I have a, no problem with anyone gathering together. I just would prefer to do it in my home or in a restaurant or somewhere that's more comfortable and um, But this is a song that I wrote about coming together um, because I still do believe that there is a God and that he loves us. And I don't understand what he's doing right now. I have no idea what he's doing. I don't know what he's allowing and what he's not. But I do trust him deep down, even though I don't have the answers. So this song says, come join the gathering, lay your burdens down and get rest for your soul in the gathering. So I'd like to finish off with this one. It's... Uh, a song that uh, I wrote with Phil and Grant from the Paul Coleman Trio. 
It's on our album, uh, Return. Just gotta find this right key. Join me down. Lay up, burn it down, and rest for your soul. Oh, that's good. I'm going to gathering and I'm going. Okay, so this is called The Gathering. Thank you guys so much. Um, sometimes the enemy is religion. That's a good line, Kelly. Uh, thank you guys. If you would like to help me out, uh, I have had a lot of money and my show's cancelled and I'm trying to create a new career, but it's commission-based and so far I've really not earned jack. <laughs> We're trying to change that, but it's really tough right now and I've got my bills coming up next week. So if you can help donate, that would be awesome and tip. And if not, it's okay. Trust me. You're so welcome. So this is The Gathering. Uh, this is going to be up on my YouTube page, Paul Coleman. Please uh, subscribe. I'm not even going to say hit the notification button because I'm sick of people saying that. But hit the notification button. All right. Uh, yeah. The Gathering. Mixed beautifully by Daryl Lehman, I should say. Join the gathering. Come join the gathering. Lay your burden down and get rest for your soul here in the gathering. Oh, my heart cries, be an island. Take my hurting heart, set myself. But your word says, don't let your heart be hardened. Make your peace with God and with the ones you've harmed. Oh, oh, oh. let them reconcile your soul. And let them make your body whole. And come join the gathering. Come join the gathering. Lay your burden down and get rest for your soul here in the gathering. Oh, I long for that sweet communion. So sing your praises high, long into the night. Sing holy, holy, God Almighty. Reconcile your soul Let it make your body whole and Come join the gathering Come join the gathering Lay your burden down And get rest for your soul Here in the gathering Join the gathering Lay your burden down And get rest for your soul Here in the gathering Woo! Alright you beautiful people Hey Sarah Murphy How are you gorgeous? Sarah Murphy Mm 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 Uh yeah. So, folks, I love you all. Thank you so much for being on here tonight. Sorry about the uh, internet malfunction that happened half, well, three quarters of the way through, and I lost some of you, but I got you back. Um, yeah, it's only been 40 minutes, but I've been going for two and a half hours. So, uh, four hearts. All right, I'll take that, Sarah Murphy. Um, if you want to see the rest of this, my... Uh, 
assistant and bookkeeper and friend and legend, Lori, will put it on my YouTube, 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 as Australians would say, put it up on YouTube. Americans say YouTube. Uh, thank you guys for listening. I'm looking mighty tired. Yeah, I am. Someone told me they thought I'd been drinking too much, but really it's not. It's just tiredness. <laughs> I've been up um, before and productive before seven o'clock in the past seven weeks, more than in my entire life. And I will be on a Zoom call at 6.45 a.m. with my fellow health insurance people. So I'm gonna stop right now, um, but I appreciate you guys. One last thing I would say that if you wish to donate, I shall receive it. I shall help to pay my bills. Uh, and you can do that at paulcolmanofficial.com. And if anyone would like to give four or five thousand uh, dollars, that would help. Uh, but you can give four dollars, and that will help too. I mean, not as much as four or five thousand, clearly, but it still will. Uh, pray for the world. Um, pray for America. Every time you want to criticize America, feel free. Give it your best shot and then pray four times for America. And then you can criticize again. And then you can pray four times and then you can criticize. But if your prayers are bigger than your criticisms, that will help. Um, it's a tough time. So God bless you all, appreciate you. Recalculate next time, sorry Al. I saw you were on the list there, recalculate. Yeah, I saw you were up here, Al, look. Look Al, you were there. Al, recalculate, right there. Sorry, buddy. I just ran out of time. Um, I'm not Springsteen. All right, guys. God bless you all. I will see you again sometime shortly, maybe in the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Adios, amigos. Dancing Queen will happen next time. Yes. My, I'll, start with the, I'll start with the list here next time, which means that... Uh, um, recalculate will we'll be for Al. Um, best is yet to come will be for Jason. Holding on to you will be for Cid Cindy. I will start with this list next time. They were the first three songs that I will play. So forgive me for not getting round to those. All right, guys, unless anyone has anything earth shattering they want to share, I'll give you a minute or two. Anything that you want us to hear from you. If not, thank you, Katie. Donovan. Thank you. Thank you, Hugh. Thanks for joining us. We're about to leave. <laughs> it's okay. Um, God bless you all. Mm, appreciate you. You should do a Zoom concert. Yeah, you know what? The thing about it is, though, isn't a Zoom concert where you have to pay more if you go on for 40 minutes? Um, thank you, Rebecca. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Heather Hunt. Thank you, Steve-O. Wow, capitals, mate. See you in the office tomorrow. Okay, so help me one sec. Everyone's saying Zoom. Oh, can we do a Zoom uh, that goes for two hours? Can we do that? How many people can you have on a Zoom? How many people? You haven't heard that Zoom rule, okay. Thanks, Jason. Love you, buddy. Um... <laughs> all right my friends i appreciate you all thank you so much um oh you can have 300 people on a zoom call okay well how many people have we had here i tell you what let's work on the zoom thing feel free to send me a private message if you want to say something else and maybe next week i'm going to do a talking session about mental health and everything that's going on and and maybe we can do that on zoom because when we're on zoom i can mute you if i'm the host I like that. A hundred, Laura said. Okay, well, we'll have to do 40-ish. All right, we've got a lot of opinions. All right, guys, I'm going to say good night. Quite frankly, I have to pee. It's been two and a half hours and I'm shaking my leg so hard that the uh, chair is creaking. Good night, guys. Love you all. Um, Laurie said, all plans up to 100 participants. Oh, it went away. All right, I'll let you know about next time. Love you all. God bless.